everyone, Miss Meek here, and today we're going to talk about adding integers. So when we talk about integers, remember that is negative and positive whole numbers. And so we're going to talk about how do we add negative whole numbers to positive whole numbers, and also how to add like negatives to negatives, positives to positives, just all those different combinations. We will also in this video discuss about how to use different types of modeling to find our answers, to find our sums. So first of all, before we can even get started, we have to talk about zero pairs. A zero pair is a pair of numbers that when they are added together, they equal zero. So for example, if I had a positive and I added it with a negative, one positive and one negative, they would cancel each other out. They are a zero pair because together they would cancel each other out. So think about it. If I had a dollar and then gave away a dollar, how much money do I have? Well, I have zero dollars. I had a dollar and then I gave away a dollar. Having a dollar is a positive one giving away a dollar is a negative one. So a negative and a positive together cancel each other out and equal zero. This is a really big deal for adding integers because what we're going to be doing is we are going to be canceling out zero pairs. That's how we add integers together. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now to begin with, I want to use some modeling to represent our process. Here um, on number one, I have three negatives represented by those three red circles with negative dashes in them. I also have four positives. There they are represented by those green circles. To add three negatives to four positives, I want to group my numbers together in zero pairs. Remember that a zero pair is a negative and a positive together. So I have one group of zero pairs, two group of zero pairs, three groups of zero pairs. Now all of these equal zero, so they're all going to cancel each other out and leave us with our answer right here, this one positive left over. So negative three plus four is a positive one. Let's take a look at the next one. Over here, I have 10 positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have two negatives. Again, to add these together, I want to find my zero pairs. Here is one right here. A zero pair, remember, is a positive with a negative. They cancel each other out and equal zero. They equal zero. And so I am left with my answer. I have eight positives left over. So my answer is a positive eight. Now let's take a look at what happens when I have all the same types of numbers. I have six negatives here, five, six, and I have one negative. Now, do I have any zero pairs? No, but they're all negatives, and when they're all negatives, I can just add them all together. How many negatives do I have there? I have a total of negative seven. So my final answer is negative seven. There's nothing there to cancel out because I don't have any positives in that problem. Let's take a look at number four. I have three positives and I have five positives over here. Again, do I have any zero pairs to cancel out? A zero pair is a negative and a positive together. I do not have any zero pairs in this problem because I don't have any negatives. So I count up how many total positives I have and that is going to be my answer. There's a total of eight positives here. So my answer is eight. So this is an example using a, a modeling structure called counters. Let's take a look at doing our problems here with number lines. So number lines are another uh, nice method in order to figure out these answers. One thing that you have to remember is that positives are always trying to travel to the right 
and negatives are always trying to travel to the left. They're trying to get back to their side of the number line, or their side of zero. So positives always live on the right side of zero. So as we can see here in this number line, all of our positives are over here to the right, okay? And then over here to the left, we have all of our negatives. And so our negative numbers are always trying to travel to the left, and our positives are always trying to travel to the right. So when I use my number line to represent my answer here, I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to travel 5 to the right. That is our first number there. Now, negative 4 is trying to travel back to the left. So from 5, I am going to travel 4 spaces to the left. One, two, three, four spaces. That is the end of our problem. So I look down and there is my answer. Five plus a negative four is going to equal a positive one. That negative four tried to get back into negative, the negative side of zero. However, it did not make it all the way. There wasn't enough to get back to zero. If we were using counters, all of this overlapping area right here would be our zero pairs that we would cross out. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. I have a negative one that's traveling to the left, and I also have a negative three that's going to be traveling to the left as well. Here is zero, so negative one is traveling one space to the left, and negative three is going to travel three spaces to the left. When I am, uh, those are both of the numbers in my problem, so I am done moving my numbers around. I look down, and there is my answer. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is a negative 4. So I end up traveling a total of 4 negative spaces to the left. Let's continue to practice this. All right, again, negatives want to go to the left on our number line, and positives want to go to the right. So negative 7, I'm going to start here at 0. And negative 7 is traveling 7 spaces to the left. Now 5 is trying to go back towards 0. 5 is trying to go back to the positive side of our number line. So it's going to start here at 7, negative 7, excuse me, and go 5 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the right. I don't have any other numbers in my problem, so I look down and there is my answer. Negative 7 plus 5 is a negative 2. That 5 tried to get back over to the positive side of the number line, but it fell a little short, and so our answer is negative 2. Last one here. I have a positive 2. Positive 2 is going to be traveling to the right of zero and I have a positive four that is also traveling to the right and to pos the positive side of our number line. Zero is right here on our number line and so I'm traveling two spaces to the right and then my second number is a positive four so I'm traveling four more spaces to the right. I don't have any more numbers in our problem, so I look down, and my answer is 6. So 2 plus 4 is 6. Now that is some basic math there that we just did, 2 plus 4. Um, hopefully we remember that from when we learned um, our basic addition. But remember that those are two positive integers, so we can't forget how to basic add, okay, uh, our basic adding skills when it comes to adding integers because some of our problems are going to be two positives being added together just like number four here. Now sometimes it's not going to be very feasible for me to draw pictures or draw number lines. Like for example here number one, negative 100 plus 70. I don't want to draw negative 100 circles and I don't want to draw 70 positive circles. So eventually we have to come up with a way in our mind to do these without using our models. So what I want to think about is how I have negative 100 100 right here, negative 100. This negative 100 is the number that has the most in terms of spaces from zero. So when we think about absolute value, remember that old term, absolute value? Absolute value is how far a number lives from zero. Negative 100 here lives the furthest from zero. I like to think about it as negative 100 has more army guys. The negative army has a hundred men fighting in it. 
The positive Armony here only has 70 men fighting in it. So who is going to win this battle when it comes to men? Well, the negative side has more guys. So that means that my answer is going to be negative. Now, 70 of these positives are going to cancel out 70 of my negatives. And so I have to think, okay, 100 minus 70 is 30. And so I'm going to end up having 30 negatives left over. Because remember, every positive is going to take out a negative. That's our zero pairs canceling. And so every positive goes over, takes out one of the negatives, and I'm left with 30 negatives. I have 30 negatives left over. Let's take a look at number two. I have negative 15 and negative four. These guys are both negatives, meaning that they are on the same team. Okay, if we think about it in terms of my army um, example, we have 15 negative army guys and we have four negative army guys. So how many total people are in your negative army here? It's going to be negative 19. They're both negative. So you always have to check the signs. If they're the same sign, you're just going to add them together. Okay, but on number one, we had different signs. And so that means that we're going to have a battle. Okay, our numbers are going to cancel out some zero pairs. And so I have to figure out how many are going to be left. Take a look at number three. Now, number three, I have a positive 17 and a negative 12. Think about which number has the greatest absolute value, okay, a.k.a. which number is furthest from zero, or if you like my army example, which number has the bigger army. Well, when I think about that, I notice that there's 17 right here, and so 17 is going to have the bigger army here. All right, that means that my answer is going to be positive. Okay, my answer is going to be positive, and every one of these negative 12s are going to cancel out one of the positives in the 17. So negative 12 is going to cancel out 12 positives. Those are zero pairs. Okay, when our numbers battle, negative 12 is going to take out 12 positives and so that means that I am going to have five positives left over so there are going to be five positives left over so my answer for number three is going to be a positive five and then number four check it out they are on the same team they are both positive so I just want to add them together because they are on the same side nothing is going to get canceled out because I don't have any zero pairs clashing there and so I have a total of 20 positives plus 11 positives that is going to be a total of 31 positives okay and again that number four there is like normal addition okay we're adding two positive numbers together okay so overall guys um the big idea is that when we are adding a negative and a positive together they're going to create zero pairs that cancel out so every one of for like example in number one every one of those 70 positives cancels out 70 negatives and what I'm left with is my answer, just like when we looked at our models. Another kind of fun way to think about it is armies. I have the negative army of 100. I have the positive army of 70. They battle. Those 70 uh, positives take out 70 negatives, and I'm left with a negative army of 30. Okay, so that's kind of a fun way to think about it. All right, guys, this has uh, been a kind of a longer video going over different ways that we can add positive and negative numbers, adding integers. I hope that this cleared up some of uh, your confusion, and I will talk to you later. Bye.